Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. And hey, <laughs> it's the off season for the Cowboys technically, but you know we know the playoffs are still going on. The Cowboys are not there, but it's the Dallas Cowboys, so there's still a lot of things to talk about. So the Cowboys shook the league up and shook a lot of things up with all the moves they've been making so far. And I just feel like they just pretty much clean house when it comes to the coaching staff. Now, some of the hires I agree with, some of them I don't, because I'm going to miss certain guys that are going to be gone and not and ousted. Um, it's a shame for some of these coaches that are not going to be on this staff anymore. But, hey, that's the way of the land. That's how it works, you know. Um, it's, it's almost like, uh, like if you want to, I hate to bring politics in, but it's like when you get a new president, you get a whole new cabinet. It's kind of the same way when you get a new coach, you get a new president, you get a new cabinet, you get a new coach, you, for the most part, you got new assistants and things of that nature. Now, um, I know some of the guys that we had on staff before were Garrett guys, which makes sense why they're not here. Um, and you know, contracts and are up and things of that nature. So, um, I was watching the press conference of our new coach, Mike McCarthy, and very impressed by him. Um, I, I, I didn't realize how much of a class act he is. I, I love that he's a jovial person. He likes to joke and have fun with the media and things of that nature. Unlike Jerry, uh, Jason Garrett. Jason Garrett will give you a laugh here and there, but it's the same thing over and over again. It's not, it, you know, he's not a lame duck like, like Jared, uh, Garrett was. And... You know, but let me not say so much about negative about uh, Jason Garrett. Um, I'm going to show a lot of humility here. So I'm just going to say that um, the things I will say about Jason Garrett that I will miss is um, he's a he's a good guy. I, I like the way um, he was able to bring his philosophy to the Cowboys and, and get to these players. And, and he reached out for the guys that were like undrafted. If you notice, we had a, un, a lot of undrafted guys that played well for this team. And he was one of the, the reasons why a lot of them made the team. You look at guys like Tony Romo, Barry Church, um, Jeff Heath, um, even even a guy that, that that was looked to just be a practice squad guy like Antoine Woods, um, he gave all these guys a chance. So I got to give it to Jason Garrett on how he interacted with his players and things of that nature. Again, because there is a side of Jason Garrett that us as fans really never saw, you know, because he only showed the media, which is what we see because the media brings it to us via the screen videos and you know their content that they put out um so when you look at it like that you you don't get a good gauge on a person because you're only seeing one side of them and jason garrett had many faces now um as a coach i never really liked him as a coach because his whole philosophy was i, I implement my game plan during the week and i allow everybody else to do things during game day he's not hands-on during game day so again when we're watching it we don't see practice like that so the fans only see the game for the most part so if you're not interacting in the game like 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 we think our head coach should we have negative you know natural negative thoughts about a um a coach so like i said i i think that jason garrett He's going to get a job somewhere else, maybe an offensive coordinator position. I know the Giants are trying to um, audition, well, interview him for, for that position because they, they already signed Joe Judge as their coach. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a different thing. But I think that we're really good with Mike McCarthy. Now, I was watching the press conference, and I'm looking at the comments, and I'm like, there's a lot of negative comments in here. I, and I don't know if these are just idiots or trolls or whatever the situation may be. I don't know why I let let that stress me. But I, I, it irritates me when I see stupidity because I'm like, where the, f mm, where the hell is the common sense? Like some of these people, like I look at and I'm just like, somebody said Mike McCarthy uh, is a terrible hire. And I'm like, do you watch football? Do you have you not seen his track record? If you look at my old video, um, when I when I said that he made I I, I put his um, career stats on there as a head coach and it's pr pretty good resume. Now the fact that in the off season he was on that whole analytical thing and trying to find um, stepping outside the X's and O's and stepping into it mathematically and trying to figure out probabilities of games. Um, definitely helps out as a coach because it helps you diagnose certain situations like red zone um, percentages and 
um, certain players that 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 can do certain things in certain situations like red zone slant routes um when you're backed up in your five ten yard line like the right plays at the right time a guy that could come in there and pretty much um show you what it is and i just think that mike mccarthy is the guy that will help the dallas cowboys succeed now again i don't know what his impact is going to be yet but i know it's damn sure gonna be better than what we've seen it's going to be, a, to me, it's going to be, it seems like a total overhaul of this team. We're going to see a way different Dallas Cowboys team next season. Now, we don't know what's going, going to happen with the players. We're still waiting in, um, for free agency um, to see what goes on with that. Now, um, we got about 30 players that are unrestricted free agents at this time, or just players with expiring contracts, period, no matter what their status is. So um, the question is, who do we keep? Who do we let go? Um, but I think some of these guys may come back on smaller deals because they really like this team. And hell, they're probably like, oh, we got Mike McCarthy. This is what we could do. You know, I really want to resign two, two of the biggest guys. And, and, I'm not going to mention Dak and Amari because those are going to happen. Um, two of two guys on my wish list that I really want to get re-signed is Randall Cobb and Robert Quinn. Randall Cobb now more than anything because of the simple fact that we have his old coach from his old team now the coach of his new team, which you know it's just it just makes sense for that reunion. Um, you look at Robert Quinn having the league lead. Um, the team lead in sacks this season. And I just love the fact what he brings to the table as well. Um, he's a great compliment to D D law and, and what Michael Bennett was when we had him. Now, I don't know if Michael Bennett's going to retire, if they're going to bring him back on a small contract. I don't know. Um, it really depends. It's really up to him. It's a lot of things to talk about. Now, let's not get sidetracked. So we're, as we talk about these coaches, right? So Mike McCarthy comes in before he even had his press conference today. Um, he basically already <laughs> had guys that he wanted on his roster. Now, I heard some people say, and again, watching the press conference really made me realize what really happened and what really is going on. And um, I'm going to give you guys some ideas that I had in my head as I was listening to it and watching it. Um, Mike McCarthy ain't no yes man. And for what Jerry Jones says, it seems like, he's turning this to of what I feel into a, what we feel. And he is allowing Mike McCarthy to have his staff. And the fact that Jerry Jones is doing that is shocking because we would have never thought that Jerry Jones would have let a coach come in here and just have that much control. The fact that Mike McCarthy is going to have a lot of control makes me very happy because that means that Jerry Jones ain't got no choice but to step back and allow Mike McCarthy to do him. Because, again, Jerry Jones sick of losing. But I think that what Jerry Jones really feels in his heart, he really wanted to keep Jason Garrett. And I think that's the reason why this whole carousel, this whole um, mind fuck, if you will, excuse my language, this roller coaster ride that we've been on with these, with these, with figuring out what was going to happen to Jason Garrett. I think that he really wanted to keep Jason Garrett. But the but in his mind, he's like, okay, and Steven is like, hey, but we got to go in a new direction. We got to get a better coach. We got to get somebody in here. So I think that's the reason why you didn't go get a college coach like some of you guys wanted. I think that it was it was it was huge that they got Mike McCarthy because you got a coach that's already been in the league, already won a Super Bowl, already has um, playoff experience, winning NFC uh, uh, titles, things of that nature. You have a guy that's experienced in the NFL. You get one of these college guys like Matt Rule and 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 um, Urban Meyer and Lincoln Riley. Um, and those those guys like that, you get those guys, and it's like not saying that they're bad coaches, but they don't have the NFL experience like Mike McCarthy does. So bringing one of those guys in will actually set the team back some because we're not rebuilding. The Giants doing that, um, signing Joe Judge and 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 the Panthers signing um, Matt Rule might work for them because both of those teams are in rebuilding stages. We are not. We are not rebuilding. We are pieces away from being Super Bowl contenders. And you can fight that that narrative if you want, but the facts are facts. And I'm speaking the facts that, that this team is close to the Super Bowl. We're not, you know, you already got a good quarterback. You got a great 
running back. You got some receivers on this team if you if you keep Amari and um and Randall Cobb. So you you got a stable of guys. So why mess something up that you already have a young team? All you have to do is just build on it. Draft a couple of more guys, get some some other pieces in free agency, and you got your squad. You just need a coach that to bring this team in the right direction. I think that, and after listening to what Mike McCarthy was talking about, and he answered the questions like a like a soldier, and I feel like I'm gonna really like him as the coach of Dallas Cowboys. And you know, at first, like when it first came out, I was excited and I was like, I don't know. But again, we don't know what's gonna happen. Nobody knows. Nobody's right. You know what I mean? Like we're all human. You know, we all make mistakes. But this is it's all speculation at this point because you can't you can't control the future. You can't see into the future. We're not mind readers. We don't we don't we don't have a magic, you know, crystal ball to figure out what's gonna happen before it happens. But I think that Mike McCarthy's gonna be good. Um one of the reporters asked him about the Dez catch. I was waiting on that one. And he basically said that, hey, at the time, uh I didn't think it was a catch, but now I do. And he was just talking about the competition committee and basically Stephen Jones um, basically saying that, yeah, he definitely changed that rule afterwards. But he said, Mike McCarthy said, when I was looking at the play before I threw the flag on it, because he was talking to Gene Skeletor, uh, which was the uh, the uh, ref during the game, and he was just basically basically saying in his head, like, damn, that was a, a amazing football move for that catch. And, you know, at the time, I guess the way Gene Stellator, uh, Skeletor, Stellator, whatever his name is, said to him, he was basically like, um, he was, Skeletor is the reason why he threw the flag. <laughs> but, um, you know, now that he's on this side of town, it's like, yeah, it was a catch. <laughs> but I, 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 I love his humor. I love the fact that he truly wants to be here and the fact that he worked on his craft. In the off, I mean, when he had that year off of football, he got to go back to family and um, just go back to his roots and figure things out and try to make himself even a better coach. And I think that the Cowboys are going to benefit from Mike McCarthy and what he's trying to do now to better not only himself, but better this team. He's he has high praise for Dak Prescott. Um, he mentions that when we played him his rookie year, Dak's rookie year. Um, he was very impressed by this young quarterback, and he is now excited the opportunity to have him around. And and and, I, and I'm cool with that. I love that. So um, I love the hire. Let's see how it works out. Now, as far as his staff goes, he's still building on that. There's still some unknowns. But I will go down the line of some of the guys that already got signed and some of the ones that's been talked about that could be signed soon. Now, But you ask, how will the players respond? We don't know. We don't know. But um, if you if you follow the guys on the tweets, some of them are saying, welcome, Coach McCarthy. Um, you got to read between the lines. Some of these players, you know, they say great things about Jason Garrett because that's what you're supposed to do. But, but in essence, a lot of these players are excited. Now, um, you look on defense. I think defense, especially the coaching side, is getting an overhaul. Um, I had a... I heard something about Sanjay Lau not being the um, wide receivers coach anymore, but he's still on the contract. So that means they have to fire him. And he's still not out yet. He's still the the wide receivers coach. But I heard that one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why they want to get rid of Sanjay Lau, and this is how you know Amari Cooper's coming back. You guys got to read between the lines. You got to, come on now. This is what I'm here for, guys, to try to just bring it to the table so you guys can see where I'm coming from. Sanjay Lau... They're trying to get Sanjay Lau out of here because apparently he has an issue with Amari Cooper. We don't know what that issue is, but now knowing this and going back to the, the, the season and seeing what happened in the season between them and why he was out of the game on certain plays and he wasn't getting targeted like that, that's Sanjay Lau sabotage. That's what it sounded like. He he hit a, um, a, a Scott Linehan on him. That's what he did. I don't know. I don't know what his issue with Amari Cooper is, and I, maybe that's why Amari Cooper was on the sideline, not smiling and stuff like that. But Amari Cooper probably already knew. Like, look, I'm probably gonna be here longer than you, bro. So, <laughs> Amari Cooper probably saw the writing on the wall. Was like, because he already said he wants to stay in Dallas. So, um, we already know that you gave up a first round pick for Amari Cooper. They're gonna resign him. That's, I mean, that that's gonna happen. But the fact that they're getting rid of Sanjay Law should tell you something. You already know Amar Amari Cooper's gonna be here. Just like the common sense thing I told you when we were when I was at Mark's house and we said that Mike McCarthy's more than likely 
nine times out of ten gonna be the coach of this team because there's no way in hell. Uh, it's just the trends. If if you listen and pay attention to the Cowboys as much as we do, like you you'll know the moves that they make. Even if they say one thing, you know what they're really gonna do because there's no way in hell on a Sunday, on a Sunday when no transactions happen in the league. At the halftime of the Eagles game, it gets announced that Jason Garrett is being um, um, ousted. You don't say anything like that unless you already have somebody you're going to sign. That's just common sense. So that's just me. And this is another common sense thing that Amari Cooper is going to be back because Sanjay Lau is not going to be a wide receiver's coach. We don't know who's going to be the new coach, but it is what it is. Now, I will say some of the ones that already got jobs. So um, we know Mike McCarthy is the coach. He is keeping Kellen Moore. As the offensive coordinator, I like that. I really like that. I want to see Kellen Moore do some more things. Now, what we don't know is whether Mike McCarthy is going to um, call the plays or not. If he does, I think that it would be good for Kellen Moore because Kellen Moore can learn from Mike McCarthy. So he can kind of learn like, okay, this is how, this is what you do in this is a situation. These are some of the things that you could do in this situation. And who knows? It might be a situation where they both call plays, where he, he might give... Um, say if it's a game where he wants to concentrate on something else, he might tell Kellen Moore, he's like, hey, if you need my help, I'm right here. But um, these are certain th things in the, in, the, in the book that we should do. Like when they game plan during the week, they'll sit down and talk about certain plays that they want to run, and they'll do it like that. And I think that um, it would be beneficial to Kellen Moore. We know that Kellen Moore got an offer from um, his hometown, the um, University of Washington. Uh, but I think that... Uh, he was going to be the offensive coordinator there. But, you know, you've already been an offensive coordinator in the NFL. So normally at a, as a young guy like that, you don't take a step back to go to college when you're young in your coaching. You normally do that when you're older and you're a veteran and you're like, okay, well, I didn't already coach at the highest level. Let's go back to college because it's less on the brain, you know. But I think that to enrich his mind, it would actually behoove him and, and be more beneficial to Kellen Moore to stay where he is to learn more under Mike Carthy. So that's that. So Kellen Moore, I think, is one of the few people that's going to stay. Um, unfortunately, they got rid of my man, Mark, 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 um, Mark Colombo. I really like Mark Colombo. Um, so they're, they're replacing him with Joe Philbin. Now, Joe Philbin is a, is a very experienced coach. I, I'm not too sad that he's the coach now, but the fact that they, him and Mike McCarthy have that thing. They, they were in Green Bay together. Um, he was with him on his staff in 2016, uh, when Mike McCarthy was a coach of the Packers and he brought Joe Philbin here. Joe Philbin ended up getting, I think he had a head coach. I think he went to the Dolphins, and the Dolphins ousted him. He went back to um, Packers, and then after Mike McCarthy was ousted at the Packers, Joe Philbin was the interim head coach, and then they um, ended up signing um, LaFleur that they have now. Now, again, familiar. I can never say that word. So he's familiar with him. So he brought he brought Joe Philbin with him. And here we are now. He is now the Cowboys offensive line coach. I don't know how Tyron Smith and Zach Martin and um, uh, uh, Travis Frederick are going to, how hard they're going to, they're taking that because, you know, they love Mark Colombo. And I like Mark Colombo. He did a lot of good things with his offensive line. Um, he was a younger guy himself. He, he played for the Cowboys. So it's almost like he had a good rapport with these young guys. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I really wanted Mark Colombo to stay, but they, they got rid of him. So that that's one that's one that I'm sad about. Um, Mike Nolan is our defensive coordinator. Um, they got him from the Saints. Uh, really good defensive coordinator. Um, not the greatest, but I think that what they're trying to do with him, I think that it's going to be beneficial to this team. Um, everybody was wondering whether, whether we were going to switch to a 3-4 th or stay at a 4-3. We're more than likely going to stay at a 4-3. We also don't have the personnel for a 3-4 defense, so it doesn't make sense to uh, switch. It doesn't make sense at all. Um, one hire that I really, really like, and, and I'm going to talk about this, John Fassel. John Fassel. Special teams uh, coach from the Rams. You guys remember him from Hard Knocks when um, Jeff Fisher got fired. You guys remember when Jeff Fisher got fired from the Rams? Um, 
John Fossil was his special team coordinator there, and he's been there for a long time. And he was he spent most of his career with the uh, Rams. He's been with a couple two other teams too, but special teams coordinator for the Rams. He spent most of his time. Um, I think that he's going to be really good for the Cowboys because we're like dead last with Keith O'Quinn. So goodbye, Keith O'Quinn. Introducing John Bones Fassel. Now they call him Bones because look at him. He is skinny as hell. He need a steak dinner. That's what he need. He need a whole steak dinner. He need to go eat at Ruth, Ruth Chris for a whole week because that boy's skinny as hell. I didn't realize how skinny he was. I went back and um, watched some of those old episodes of um, uh, Hard Knocks from, from the Rams from that era. And I was like, wow. So having John Fossil here, I think it's going to be good. It's going to be good for the special teams. I'm loving this. They, they say it might is a super, super cast of, of coaches on this team. But I'll talk about that in a second. Now, but John Fossil, though, um, I really like this signing. I really do. I think that it's going to help our special teams get much better. Now, the question is, remember, Tavon Austin, we was wondering what's going to happen to him. They might, they might end up re-signing Tavon Austin because John Fassel was like, look, I know Tavon when he was with the Rams, and uh, he was my special team's go-to guy, and I think I want to keep him here with the Cowboys. So who knows? A lot of these guys' input is going to matter. This is going to be a team thing. Um, so I'm excited about John Fassel, and you guys should be too. If you don't know much about him, go back and look at some of the Rams games. Um Defensive line coach, the new defensive line coach is Jim Tom Sula. Now, what does that mean for Chris Richard? I don't know. Because they still haven't signed no secondary coaches yet, but there's two guys that they're looking at, Joe Witt Jr. and Tony Auden. And nine times out of ten, one or both of those guys might get signed. We don't know. But um, you look at defensive line, so that means Rob Marinelli is out. So goodbye, Rob Marinelli. Um, he's turning 71 this year. I really like him. I really like Rob Marinelli. It's just that his Tampa Bay scheme was just getting old and tired and stale. And we don't have the um, the personnel really for the Tampa 2 defense. So, um, And um, you go back and watch uh, Dallas Cowboy fan 1980, my, my homie. He, 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 he talked a lot about the, uh, the defensive scheme with um, – with the Tampa too. I can explain it to you too because I play linebacker, so I know it as well, but I don't have time to do that. I just want to get through this. But um so you look at those guys. Um, those are potential hires. Now, but we know we got Joe Philbin, we got Mike Nolan, we got John Fassel, and we got uh Jim um Jim Tom Sula. We don't know. We still don't know what's going to happen with Chris Richard. We still don't know what's going to happen with uh, Doug Nussmeyer. I know his contract is up, so I'm pretty sure they're going to get another tight ends coach because he didn't really do much. Um, because even when Jason Witten, before he came back, uh, that there was those tight ends, they weren't able to do anything with him. And I think that's more so of Jason Garrett's doing than a tight ends coach. But, hey, you're a product of your environment, I guess. <clears throat> You're an accessory to the crime in this situation, so you got to go with Jason Garrett. Um, I really want the running backs coach, um, Gary Brown, to come back. Now, there's no news yet on that. I know that he's supposed to have a meeting with uh, Mike McCarthy um, at the end of this week, I think, to talk about, you know, just to have an interview, just to talk and see where his head is. If um, Gary, if uh, I know that Gary Brown might be a favorite to stay, though, because I know that Mike McCarthy was looking outside and he did reach out to somebody, but they haven't responded yet or they may have denied the job. But Gary Brown, if they don't get anybody better, they might keep Gary Brown, which I like because Gary Brown loves these guys. These 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 players love these running backs, love him. And I think that you don't want to break up that monotony. I think that you need to keep that intact because that's your offense. They asked Mike McCarthy what his thing with his offense. He was like, making the quarterback better. And, and making the quarterback better is also having a good run game. So he believes in Zeke and having a good run game. So I think we're going to have a good, healthy balance. And I think with his offensive guys and though that veteran all-star coaching squad that they're bringing to the Dallas Cowboys is going to help um, not only Zeke Elliott, but mainly Tony Pollard. It's going to help Tony Pollard tremendously, and that's going to be a great thing. Um, so we're waiting to see what happens with Gary Brown. We're waiting to see what happened with Doug Nussmeyer. We're waiting to see what happened with uh, Sanjay Lau. 
But you go go ahead and chalk it up. Sanjay Lau more than likely is going to be gone. They're probably going to have to fire him because I think he's still in the contract. Nelson Myers' contract is up, so he could just slide off. Um, Gary Brown, I think his contract is up. But again, he's got a meeting, so he may get resigned. I and mean, we don't know what's going to happen with uh, Chris Rashard. So look out for some of those things, guys. Um, that's all I have for right now. Let me know what you guys think about. If you guys seen the press conference, if not, go check it out, DallasCowboys.com. Um, check out uh, Mike McCarthy and, and just 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 get a gauge for yourself and just really listen to what he has to say. I really think that he's going to be beneficial to this team, and I'm liking the hire. Um, thanks again, all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. And that notification bell so you get this content. It's your boy E2Blue. Always keeping it real. Talk to y'all soon.